a girl named Willie Mae And she lives in the low, low land I got a girl named Willie Mae And she lives in the low, low land Lord, the way I got that woman I stole her from another man Maybe you know I've had the wrong Oh my life Well you may you know I've had the wrong Lord, just on the counter Me breaking up one poor man's home When I get a thing about Willie Mae, cold chills creep up and down my spine. Lord, sometimes I wish I was dead. Willie Mae, I'm afraid of dying. I'm gonna leave here. Baby, I'm going on that line. I'm gonna leave it. Willie May, I'm going on down the line. Yeah, no, I don't do nothing here. Willie May, but grieve and cry. You know, I don't, don't do nothing here. Willie May, but grieve and cry. Okay, you just heard my version of uh, Big Bill Bruins' Willie May, one of his great songs. And he uses that accompaniment for several other songs, like for example, Mopper's Blues. It's uh, practically the same. So it's a very useful accompaniment to learn. And some people play it as an instrumental. It's a bit, I think, uh, thin as a in pure instrumental uh, song. Uh, like for example, Stefan Grossman teaches he has a teaching video of this song also on YouTube if you search for it. Willie May, Stephen Grossman, you're certainly going to find it. Uh, but I thought it's a great song to sing and not that difficult to sing if you, well, um, don't try to sound like Big Bill Groomsy. The first, first, the first lines of every verse, they're pretty okay and not that difficult, but it's the last line where Bill really belts out and uh, stretches the words very long. Uh, I decided not to do that because, well, I don't have his voice. And um, I stayed, let's say, more or less within the 12 bar structure. Uh, I tapped out the instrumental introduction exactly, well, pretty much exactly as Big Bill plays it. And I also tapped out my variation for the last line. And we'll go, and I'll go over every verse uh, because there are little uh, differences in every verse. And it's a song you can, well, learn without uh, the help of tap for those verses because, well, it's simply and just a little lick in between. So, um, link to the tap in the video description. I'm in standard tuning, but a half step low. This means this is a D sharp. A sharp for the second string, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and 
D sharp again. Fits my voice a bit better because Big Bill has a rather high voice and um, I have to strain myself too much to sing this in normal, well, in standard tuning. So, uh, let's go and uh, I'll play the intro as slow as possible. First you notice the bass, it's a monotonic bass and I try as much as possible to play it well the country blues way which is open and then you mute with the palm side of your hand so you get this effect. You see my hand is going slightly like that so it's not muffled like that with your hand placed on the bridge but and especially when there's not much going on in the trebles you hear that bass like, for example, the first measure. You hear that tamp tamp. And I'm hitting more than one string, of course. The fourth string is also a ring. So that's uh, very typical of this song. And we're starting with a D chord, partial D chord, fifth fret, seventh fret. his well, signature licks when he plays in the key of A uh, when he goes back to that E7 and then A7 and the long A chord Lots of pulling off here. And I'm pulling off with my pinky, of course, you can do with your third finger as well. And sliding back into that A chord. Back to that E7. And this is, I think, one of the coolest moves in the song. And Stefan Grossman doesn't teach that, which I find rather strange because it's it's a cool lick. Going into that um, E7 chord. And when you go to that, when you place your chord, your uh, E chord, you, on the same time, you do a hammer on. So it's... Now, you see, I'm going with my pinky to the 4th fret um, and I'm moving my hand like that to reach it. So the normal chord position would be like this, if you see my wrist, and when I go to the 4th fret, I simply bend my wrist, my pulse, uh, and so I can reach that. Another way to do it is, of course, Simply go to the your D7 position, move there, and play it like that. I think Stefan Grossman teaches it's, it's like that. You can grab the chord like this or with the pinky. It's just the same. And I think it's important to know that. 
that's one phrase. It's not just a return to the A chord, no, it's part of the phrase. That. So that's it for the instrumental introduction. And the, uh, the accompaniment behind the vocals is very simple. So we have I got a girl named Willie Ma. You simply keep that bass going. And after I got a girl uh, named Willie Ma. You just hammer on and it has to be very slight hammer. So not like that. Not but Get a little hammer on and a little pull off, and I use my index finger to the, play the second string, second fret. I used to think it was. But it's, it's really that what he does, which is really cool and uh, I haven't seen anybody else doing it. I got a girl named Willie Mae and when you sing the bass is really soft. I got a girl named Willie Mae. And a bit harder when you do the, the, the signature riff. And she lives in the low, low land. Same thing. I got a girl named Willie Mae. And then the second time, the second line, after the first, I got a girl named Willie Mae. He goes to the, that D chord. And he does different things there. I, I keep it simple and do pretty much the same thing every time. I got a girl named Willie Mai, and she lives in the low, low lands. Oh, the way I got that woman, I declare I stole her from a man. And here you can refer to the tap when I, when you do twice. in the tap. Makes more sense with the vocals. And all the way I got that woman I declare I stole from a man. See, it's really on time with the words also. And that second uh, measure. We play that twice. Well, I do it twice. So, one more time very slowly. Lord, the way I got that woman. I declare I stole from a man. And then you go to the next verse. Maybe I... Yeah. And... Um, <clears throat> Big Bill doesn't do that uh, little riff when he go to the, goes to the uh, D7 chord. I thought, well, we're going to do this for for the E7, so why not do something similar for the going to the D7? And I use my pinky, but you can do you 
can use another finger. Don't be afraid to do that. Always do whatever is comfortable for you. Don't regard my things as chiseled in stone. Okay, now the next verse. There we're going up. So yeah, we, we're doing... Uh, uh, da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Going to the long chord and do that a couple beats. And then I introduce the next verse with the double bass. All my life, baby, you know I've had the wrong. So we're starting with, an, with a double bass. And then the chord, a partial A chord, which is your D chord moved up. And I use my index and middle finger, it's a bit easier for the what comes after that. All my life. 12th fret, 13th fret, and bent the second string. Baby, you know I've had a home. And then. Now there's a version of Big Bill where he does it 11 times. Very long. This you can do, well, how long you want. You want to do it four times, six times, eight times, doesn't matter. And, well, you can try to add some dynamics, start. And uh, when you go to the, the next chord, the D7 again, you, you end on the second string, otherwise you're going to get in trouble. You see? And slide into the D7. So, all my life, baby, you know I've had the wrong. All my life, we've seen that before. All my life, holy man, you know I've had the wrong. And in the second sentence of every verse, well, pretty much every verse, he adds Willie May. So not baby. And there therefore it becomes a bit longer. Willie May, you know I've had the wrong. And notice that in the first line, you may you know I had the wrong. The Rome is very high. And in the second uh, line, Willie May, you know I've had the wrong. You're going down. And again, our signature riff. Oh, just on the counter. Me breaking up one poor man's home. Oh, just on the counter. Me breaking up one poor man's home. Home, really, back on the A chord. Third verse, you expect that he sings Willie May, Willie May, don't you hear me calling you? But he drops the don't you don't you hear me calling you? And he does that in every version, so it's really preconceived. And he adds, well, he fills it up with a little um, instrumental passage. So we've started again with a double bass. Willie May. And then the instrumental part is very simple. And then moving up into the A chord. And you do that twice. Then the A7. And the long A chord. And then. Willie Mae, don't you hear me calling you? Lord, if I don't get my willy made, there's no what a woman will do. And then I added uh, 
a solo, which Bill doesn't do, but for example, well, it's based, of course, on what we do in the uh, previous uh, verses. So. <laughs> So we're going to the, we start with a double bass, again our slide into that A chord, and then pull off 14th fret to the 12th fret on the first string, that's it, very slow, so one more time. Notice the accenting of the bass in between those two things. And I added a double bass, of course. So. And then we're going to the, the D chord. Again. That bent. No, sorry. Like that, which we've seen in the in the introduction, I think, where it is. The second line, the last beat, the last measure of the second line in the tap. And instead of going what we did in the introduction, something like that, I'm doing. So I pull off 8th fret, 1st string, pull off to the 5th fret, and then the 7th uh, fret pulling off to the 5th fret. So. And in between, of course, that 2nd string on the seventh fret. And again, you can do that well as long as you want and try to add some uh, dynamic starts. And the last time, you simply do seventh fret, uh, second string and the first fret. And then it's the same as in the, in the the introduction, the instrumental introduction. When I get a thinking about William I cold chills creep up and down my spine. That's also a little variation. So after our solo, when I get a thinking about William I um can use with a bar, first fret, barring the fourth, third, and second string, and sliding to the second fret. When I get a thing by the way, my cold chills creep up and down my spine, and I'm I'm really slowing, well, not slowing down a bit, but um, in the volume. Cold chills creep up and down my spine, and slide our A chord, partial A chord. 9th and 10th fret, and sliding it down, and do our signature lick. When I get a thing about Willie Mai, cold chills creep up and down my spine. Lord, sometimes I wish I was there. Willie Mai, you know I'm afraid of dying. And then the last verse, which is pretty much the same as the second verse. I'm gonna leave here, baby, I'm going on that line. I'm gonna leave here, well, me, I'm going on that line. Yeah, no, I don't do nothing here. But grieve and cry. Yeah, no, I don't, don't do nothing here. Only my but grieve and cry. And 
that's the ending of it. So it's not that hard. It demands practice, of course, and uh, especially to keep that bass going. It's a very good exercise um, for your monotonic bass playing. So have fun with Willie May. <laughs>